Hello, thank you for joining episode 2 of Hawaii. Today is day 2 that we are on Oahu Island and today it's a little bit split. Me and my dad are going to go to Pearl Harbor while my mom and grandma will be going to the I believe Hawaiian Zoo but anyways mostly it will be Pearl Harbor and then the evening that like with we went at the beaches and stuff like that so during the Pearl Harbor if you're gonna ask me like all the attraction we basically bought a day pass so you can buy this day pass at Pearl Harbor for like $90 and then you have like access to like the submarine the battleship and the air battle museum and I would totally recommend it due to that you're probably saving rather than buying it individually and yes there are options if you just want to see the submarine you can just pay at the submarine admission and that's it instead of having all of it but in my opinion I think it's better to see the entire package since that's the full experience of Pearl Harbor anyways enough of talking and let's start watching We're heading on the boat to the Pearl Harbor. Here we're heading for the boat right to the U.S. Memorial Base. Here is the bridge that connects to the island where it's an active U.S. military base. Here is the memorial approaching soon. And those two bricks are where their uh, previous boats have sunk.
we are currently heading to our museum's attractions. Now we're heading to the submarine. Łódź podwodna Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, z II wojny światowej. Będziemy wchodzić do środka, zaraz zobaczymy co tam mają ciekawego. Oh, you see, you can see the base head. And here's the staircase that goes down, and we'll soon go down there. To są torpedy. Teraz płyniemy, wchodzimy do środka. You are entering to the kitchen area, the bedroom Nie, area. Nie, gdzie marynarze spali i urzędowali. Probably the dining room or living room area. Here's the sink and the beds. This looks like a general's bedroom area. Even more beds and more beds. A lot of keys. Navigatora pokój. The office room. The engine room. Wszystko w miedzi. The control room. Here's the little baking room kitchen. Aha, kuchnia. Kuchnia na łodzi podwodnej. Here is the dining room area. Some games back in the day. Even more bedrooms. Here we're heading to their little bathroom area. 
their toilets Big engine rooms where their tanks were stored here. Here we got even more controls. So we go into another loophole. Even more engines. Here it looks like their little workshop area. We're gonna continue on in another loophole. Oh, look over here. Looks like the command rooms, little storage areas. And also some stuff over there. Here's the command area. Some communications. Jak myślisz? My, my, myślę trochę za ciasna tu jest. Even more control options. Oh, I think she was like the general control. Looks like the driver's seat. Możesz kierować? No, ja nie bardzo. Nie znam się na tym. <laughs> you were gonna go to another door. Oh. Here's a little office area. Electrical. A clock. Here are torp torpedoes in the back of the submarine. Tej chwili jesteśmy na tyle. Łodzi podwodnej. Tu też jest następna maszynownia z torpedami. Cztery torpedy mogły iść na, la na raz, załadowane i być wystrzelone. And now we're going to be exiting out to see what's outside. So we entered from the front, now we're in the back, and this is the very edge. In the middle of the boat you have these guns. So here is how you would basically sit, like I am, over here, and you have these things, so I don't know if we're gonna see. Oh yeah, we, we can see a little bit. Uh, so basically, it's it's a Pearl Harbor view. Oh, now we can see a little bit. Yeah. So we can see the Memorial U.S. Memorial Arizona base from here. And these are these. Here we're gonna go to the top part. Here's the view deck. Here is a little bit bases in. Here's how the front part of the submarine looks like. And you got another gun over here. Then we got some magnified gas. And then we got the back part. So now we're going down from the top deck. 
and over here on the top you also have like where they can use to view their enemies from the top without you know fully getting out of the water so here's the back entirely So now we're done with the submarine and we will be heading to our next attraction. I jak było? Super. Opowieści nie do pisania. Here's the submarine from the outside. Okay. Pick. So which one we take? Three of the army. I got this one. All right, we take one big one. And let's pick one more. This one looks good, no? Okay. Chino. All right, well, let's try another one. Maybe this one. All right, we got two pearls. All right. What? Aloha. Yeah. Stop the other one. Aloha. Oh wow, you got pink. What's oh. this? Happiness and romance. A pair, right? A yes, it takes three to four years before the pearl is born. Okay. Another one. one. You're the first one today. First one? Yes. Green means wealth. Okay. Good. Pink, happiness and romance. So you've got wealth and happiness and romance. Ah. It, 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 it sounds like you're perfect. Yeah, I know. What can you ask for? Nothing, right? Nothing else. Yeah. As long as you be healthy, having health, the rest of it comes. Mine's just silver and yours more like rose, right? Yep. The next step I'm going to do as part of the free service okay. is to pierce it halfway through while it's still soft and moist so it doesn't shine. Okay. Okay. May I? Oops. And I'll be right back. So do you think we're lucky? Yeah, I think. We got happiness, chili szczęście i bogactwo. So here is the submarine, and right across the submarine, we got this little nice deck gun. So, działko przeciwpancerne, które było montowane to na hop on this thing, I części, say, Then I put my legs right over here, and then there was my viewpoint. Czyli to było o, o to, to było na te, Hubert, żeby rozwaliło tamte. Range 69 miles. Here's the harpoon capsule. And this is how it looks. So here we're gonna enter this little capsule or... So this is gonna be the battle station surface. So we're gonna head in and see how it looks. So over here, you got the steering wheels bunch of control oh and here is where you probably would see what's on the top that's the top part of the antenna over here you got the radio stations and many other stuff so yeah it's a bit tight spot because it's now open it's wide but if it was closed it would be very tight here we have a very long one-man torpedo and this thing is massive. It's like maybe 30, 40 feet long. And this will be used to uh, defend your enemies. And here is the ending part.
Guys, here are the flowers, the bird of parasite. Our next attraction will be having with the VR headsets. So yeah, got a bit. Ubiać to? Tak, będziemy oglądać film z czasów II wojny światowej. I can see 3D. Now we're boarding the shuttle bus. USS Arizona Memorial and the USS Bofin have allowed class fleet attack submarine. Here we are now heading to our next stop to the battleship. Launched December 7th, 1942. She sank 44. We have approached Fort Island. Here was where there used to be a runway. Here we are at the battleship Missouri Memorial. Now we are beginning our tour by walking up to the battleship. And over here is where we were in the morning. U.S. Arizona Memorial. Here's the entire battleship view. Here are these enormous guns sticking out. Here's the view deck of the Fort Island. Here's even more nets and staircases. Bude strasznie te schody, nie? Tak, jak na statku. Dobra. Here we are entering to the captain's room and the navigation bridge. Yes. A 
another captain's chair. The official control room. And even more phone lines. Here we are entering the captain's cabin. Now we're heading down to the second deck interior visitor route. The library. The sleeper rooms. The US mailbox. Kitchen room. Cardinal Swiss Lanke. Yeah. The buffet or the kitchen area. Here's like the dishwasher. Wow, and the, across the other side there is a Liberty store, but unfortunately it is closed. Here is another buffet area. Here will be the vegetable preparation room where they keep their food and prepare them. Here are the big pots where they will cook your soup. And here is the buffet items. Here's how the computers looked back then. Here is where they bake the breads. Here is the bakery and stuff. Some way down to even more deep. Donut shop. Here is the machine shop. Here are the bedroom areas. Here is a classroom. Oh shit! Chalai. Uchime Lexia. The computer center. Here are more bedroom areas. Tons of bedroom areas. A TV. 
Dentista. <laughs> the dentist shop. Here is the United States Postal Office. And here is where they would get their mails. Exhaust. Exhaust. <laughs> Here's the food area. The captain's bedroom. The captain's workspace. Lounge area. The shower area. So now we are officially done after visiting the battleship. Now we have one more stop, the aviation museum. Here is some airplanes. Now we are in the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. Here is how many ways they attack Pearl Harbor. They have these yellow aircrafts and also behind it you also have flight simulators where you can do it for extra money. Here we got a bunch of airplane models and we're gonna soon be heading to Hangar 79. Here are some helicopters over there. Here is Hangar 79 that we'll be heading into. This hangar is huge. Here is this wooden plane, which I have no idea what it is, but I don't think it'd be possible flying too far with this thing. Here are the remains of the ghost aircraft and here are some history along with it. And here is the slogan of Donald the Duck on the Swamp Ghost. Here is another interesting aircraft. The interesting part is one of the wings it can stretch out or you can fold them. Here are even more aircraft right next to hangar number 79. Here are helicopters. And here finally like, looks like a little passenger plane. Here are many helicopters in the back. Here is probably one of the biggest helicopters I ever seen in this area. I 
z tego ci zrobię. After Pearl Harbor, we headed back to the hotel and picked up mom and grandma and now we're continuing on to the beach. Amuna Bay. are the big waves and over there we got the lighthouse it's a beautiful sunny day from that view Belgium. If you want to see the drone footage of the beach, click on the top right to see the other video where I posted. Our last attraction for today is to visit the Queen of Hawaii's house that was used to be in the past. Here is where the Queen of Hawaii. This is her palace. After our final attraction for today, now we are heading back to the hotel and I will show you the favorite food spot that we were always hanging out on our Oahu Island. So here is the poke shop bow where they have the best poke that we ever tried and this is around 3 blocks away from our hotel from Hyatt. Now, to conclude all of this, what is my opinion on Oahu Island? I think it's a well worth to go and visit. I mean, like, you at least need one day to go around the island and another day, like, for Pearl Harbor. Normally, it would take us a full day, but we try to shorten up things in Pearl Harbor, make it a half day. But you definitely would need at least one day guaranteed. And maybe if you had some extra days, then you probably sh may stay and visit other attractions that they have available. So I would say maybe around like two to three full days, not arrival or departing day uh, included, like two to three full days on Oahu Island is probably enough to visit like everything what they have to offer. So the next day we're gonna be going to the big island and 
we're gonna be like Oahu in the morning but not really doing too much but then on the big island we have one attraction that you guys see on the next episode so if you enjoy the D series please make sure you subscribe and continue to follow all the updates and see you in the next video